Hey guys, welcome back to the Past Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to Andy Elliott. He's a very high performance car salesman. He trains other people who have to sell cars, but he has a lot of good advice. Check this video out. Is this world out here, will this give you whatever you want? Will this universe give you whatever you work for? Yes or no? Yes. Dude, people say life isn't fair. Bullshit! It's so fair. If you're the hardest worker in the room, if you have a good attitude, if you treat your family great, if you go to the gym for an hour a day, if anything that's important to you, you make sure you take care of it and you don't get lost in other people's bullshit. How easy is it? The hard part is you having control of this and not letting the world take control of this. All right. So, Curry, yeah, I, I, I really like what he had to say. And I mean, he's in a different realm. Like I said, you know, he does like car sales and stuff like that. But it's the same mentality. It's that go get it mentality. He now owns business and all that. But everything he said is so true. And I like this because a lot of people and I know I know I get this. I know a lot of people think like, oh, Alex, just everything just comes to him. He He's a privileged little white kid. Like, you know, I got it good and all that. <laughs> but the reality is everything he just said was the answer. If you work your hardest, if what every what if what it means to you is worth it, and you go after it. How is life not fair? You will obtain and you will achieve what you want if you put in the work and you go for it. But I don't think everybody does that. But Kirby, you can you can take over. I I remember having this conversation with the family. I'm gonna say a couple months ago. And, you know, they already got it ingrained in their kids. Oh, life is hard. Life is hard. And I said, no, life is not hard. People make life hard. Life is easy. People make life hard. And what he said in that video, if you have the ability to control this and stay out of everybody else's mess, then you'll be fine. Do the things that's important. Important is the objective for the dynamic family that you have. What everybody else doing, they're going to keep doing. You can't control what they're doing. So you can't go fix their problems without fixing yours. So that right there was the hallmark for me. Everybody want to worry about what everybody else doing. What mom and them doing, cousin them doing, friends and everybody doing. The issues that they got, you can't fix their problem. Worry about the things that you can control. The things that's in your household. And then you will be far better. But I mean... Parents are just indoctrinating their kids to, oh, yeah, life is hard. Yeah, it's, life's so hard. You don't supposed to have nothing. This is where we come from. You know, we we from the hood. You don't supposed to have. No, I'm from the hood. And I was indoctrinated the same way, thinking that, oh, yeah, this is the best that you can have. You know, you only got 15, 20 roaches in your house. Best you can get. You living better than people that got hundreds of roaches in the house. No, I ain't having none. So... That's, that's just, it's crazy that people don't understand. That's all it is. Just stay in your lane. Don't go in nobody else's lane. Just stay in your lane and not focus on anything else that's going on. You will be a hundred times better. But Alex, go ahead. I know this your, this your, this your boy right here. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I mean, what he says is, I mean, he's got a lot of videos and what, what he's always saying is great. But it's, it's, it's that, uh, it's that statement too. You can't help everybody. You can't be trying to, and I hear people, they're always trying to help out there. I, I know people that don't have kids themselves and they're taking care of their siblings, kids. They're trying to get their mom to and from work. They're trying, why? Because their family, your family is the one holding you back. How much of a family is that to you? When you can start to focus on you and you can control your own actions, your own life, your own mind, your mentality, you will get stuff done. And when you want to get stuff done, you will see, as he said, how life fair is. Life isn't unfair. Yes, there's bad stuff that happens in life. But as we talked about in another video, are you going to allow those bad things that happen in life to hold you back? Or are you going to have the victor mentality to overcome those things and continue to achieve more than you had? It's up to you. That's all it is. It's up to you. It's not up to anybody else to decide what kind of life you have, what you get out of life, and what you achieve. It's always going to be up to you. And and the thing is, is what you said. We're not saying, oh, it should be you're 100% wrong from helping your family. What we're saying is, 
is 100% right for you to get your financial situation together. Then once you get your financial situation together, then it's way easier to, to help your family member. But if you just in the grind and say, hey, I want to be successful. I want this. I want this. But all your time is consumed with everybody else's problem. Then you don't have time to go on the direction that you're willing to go on or that you should go on. And then you fall up under the same victimhood of, oh, long as we together, we all right. No, no. If we together and broke, we not all right. Success is the lonely road. And I'd rather be on that lonely road by myself than with a group of people and everybody just sitting there at a barbecue cookout with a 40 in their hand. For all the people that are still drinking 40s, that's for y'all. But that, that is, that's the, that's the hallmark of it. And life is not that hard. Things that you know you got to do. Wake up. You know bills got to be paid. So you know you got to have some source of income to pay the bill. You know, it will be dramatic events that happen in life health scares and things like that. So you have to have, again, money to cushion yourself for when the bad shit happens. You know how it always comes back to money? You can't open your eyes inside a house without money. You can't pay the bills without money. If you, you can't handle these catastrophic you know, health events or just when life happens events without money. So the reason why everybody's sitting here saying, oh, life is hard, life is a struggle, life is this, is because they don't have money. So go get the money and then it will fix 99% of your problem. And to all the people that say, oh, money ain't everything, but money will fix 99% of your problems. Just sit there and think about it. Just write down all the problems you have and then, and then I guarantee you 99% of people watching this video, money will fix the problem. So... Why not go get the money? And then sales. The reason why I like sales, and I'm a terrible salesman, but that's what life is all about. Even, you know, rental properties. You're trying to sell to a tenant that, you know, your property is the property you have. You know, you you do online sales. You, you know, selling your product to people, potential buyers. That's why, that's why I like it. Because you have to stand out above. You can't just do what everybody else is doing. If you're doing what everybody else is doing, you get the same results as everybody else. You have to stand out above to bring attention to what you're doing. And that's that's why I like sales. And I like to hear uh, people that's in sales because sales is a, is a hard business. I mean, sales is literally you eat what you kill. This is back to caveman days when it comes to sales. You know, if you don't kill nothing, you ain't eating. You better grab some leaves off some trees or something, but you ain't eating no meat if you ain't killing nothing. So that's why I like that's what, and that's how people should look at life is I ain't killing nothing that I ain't eating. But no, they want the oh I ain't killing nothing. So uh, so everybody bring me the stuff y'all got the job work for so we can all eat together. We can split a ramen noodle sandwich or something. Damn all that. But Alex, go ahead, you can close it out. Yeah, I mean I would I mean before I close it out too, I would even say life is also about selling yourself on something too. You gotta convince yourself on what you want. And if you can't, then you know, life is going to be a hard journey for you. But yeah, guys, with all that being said, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, his name, by the way, is Andy Elliott. If you want to check out more of his videos, uh, leave a comment down below, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.